right, so welcome back to Melvie Presents. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about background acting. So at first, I didn't really consider doing this video because I guess when you live in LA, you kinda of take it for granted because you could literally be on a set every day of the week if you wanted to because there's always something shooting out here. They're always looking for background actors and it's really easy to get background work. So I figured this video would be for someone who maybe doesn't live in LA or someone who's thinking about moving to LA and wants to see what it's like to work on a set, a movie, a TV show, and be a background actor. So this video is for you. Okay, so let's get started. So how do you go about getting background acting? work. So in LA, um, the place that everyone goes to is Central Casting. That's like the holy grail for background acting, background actors. Um, it's a casting company and they book background actors for film and TV and it's 24-7. They're always booking. You call in. Um, you First you go to register and then once you're registered, you listen to the orientation. Once you go through that whole process, then you start calling in to see if um, they can use you for a job. They usually post their uh, casting notices on Facebook or Twitter, and then if you fit the profile or what they're looking for, then you call in. So that's like the go-to, um, central casting. Another thing is uh, call-in services they have here in LA. Um, I'm a part of a call-in service, so that's where I get all of my background work. The call-in service is basically you pay a monthly fee and they do the work for you. They get you booked. They submit you and then they um, send you a notification if you're booked. So with the call-in services, it's a monthly fee. I pay $80 a month. It pays for itself because I get booked a lot. Um, there are maybe three top ones out here. So if you're thinking about getting into background acting or you're thinking about moving to LA for that, I would definitely check out Cut Above. That's who I'm with. Um, face-to-face -face management and extras management. So those are the top three. I'll leave those links below so you can take a look. Um, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm kinda just gonna go through a day in a life of a background actor. Um, so basically, so first I just wanna say, I know people that do background work full time. I know people that never do background work. And I know people that do it to kinda just fill in the gaps. That's what I do. Um, there's kind of a stigma just put that out there some people kind of look down on background acting it doesn't take much skill <laughs> but it takes a lot of patience that's the thing it takes a lot of patience because you're hurry up you're, it's like hurry up and wait and do nothing and sit in holding all day eat snacks eat crafty and eat junk food I mean I'll, I'll, I'll get to that so okay a day in the life so first the first things first say you have a calling service so for me I have a calling service and I get booked for, let's say, Grey's Anatomy. So my call-in service contacts me and says, hey, you're booked for Grey's Anatomy, working tomorrow. You'll get your details later tonight. So then I get an email with my details or I'll have to call in like a um, voice messaging service and listen to my details. So in my details, I will get um, my call time, my wardrobe details, and my location. So with wardrobe, you're either going to be a patron, um, a pedestrian, a college student, someone in a park, just someone in the background, someone in the atmosphere. Background people make um, the scenes realistic. We make it come to life. So they're going to tell you bring wardrobe options. You want to make sure that your wardrobe is ironed and hanging in a garment bag. Um, so when you get to set, so say for instance your call time is 7 o'clock, you get to set, um, you check in, there's going to be a check-in table for all the background, and then you go to wardrobe. So wardrobe checks out your wardrobe and your options, and whatever you have, they'll say, okay, you can wear this, you can wear that, and you go change if you need to, if you don't need to change, you're fine. Um, and then after you go through wardrobe, they usually will like line everyone up, take a picture of everyone, and just double check and make sure you're good for the scene. And then you go back to holding. So holding is the area where you go to do nothing. <laughs> Pretty much you sit there until you're ready to be used for the scene. So there's a lot of waiting, there's a lot of hanging out. I definitely um, recommend bringing a book, bringing a magazine. Usually when you're doing background, there's a lot of people on set that you know, that you've worked with. So you see a lot of friends, you kind of hang out, you know, there's things that you can do. Uno tournaments, I've done that before. There's just tons of things that you can just do because 
you're sitting and waiting and when you're on a set um, everything is very unpredictable things are always changing things are always you know one minute it's oh we're gonna do this scene and then that scene gets cut it just everything is like up in the air so you're always kind of waiting so when you're in holding you want to make sure that you're ready to go so when they come in and say they're ready for background you're all ready to go and ready to work so they will place you when you get into the scene all the scenes are different you just never know what to expect when you're on set sometimes you can be um, you know fans at a football game uh, patrons in a restaurant you can be in a bar you just never know what the scene will call, call for sometimes they'll uh, read you the scene and let you know what you're gonna be doing for the day sometimes they won't so once you get on set they'll place you sometimes they'll have you talking to someone or just kind of sitting there reading a book on your phone it just kind of depends so you want to make sure as a background you don't say anything that's not your job that's the job of the principal so you're pantomiming so you're basically like so pantomiming is basically no words are coming out of your mouth you're pretending to have a conversation you're pretending to dance you're pretending to laugh it's all for pretend like your job is not to talk that's the main actor's job background you're just creating reality and providing atmosphere to the scene so um let me think what's next oh food they do feed you which is really great so some sets they really hook it up like others sometimes it's a little sketch it just really depends on what you're working some have you know bigger budgets than others if you're working like on an established TV show or a big budget film you're gonna be taken care of with breakfast lunch dinner then there's crafty craft services and that's where they just provide all the snacks like all throughout the day they just keep the food coming so that's like a really good thing that's a perk because there's a lot of food on set um, sometimes you get bumps depending on uh, if they have you like bring your car and drive your car in the scene, you can get a bump for your car. Or if there's, there's smoke in the scene, you can get a smoke bump. Um, if they put a lot of makeup on you, you can get a makeup bump. There's, there's a lot of different things that you can get bumps so that you can get extra money um, depending on what the scene calls for. Usually when you get booked, you're booked for eight hours. So they'll give you a rate and that rate will be for eight hours. Um, Non-union and union two totally different rates um, but it's eight hours increments and then after eight hours you get overtime and then sometimes you go into double overtime usually when I'm on set like a lot of uh, like TV shows established TV shows say Grey's Anatomy is never eight hours it's always 12 hours plus it just really depends some days you're gonna be there 12 13 hours some days you'll be there uh, four hours five hours it just depends every day is different and that's the really cool thing about doing background acting because every day is different you just never know what you're gonna um, what you're gonna encounter that day another thing to remember is you always want to be very professional on set you're there to do a job and a lot of times you're gonna be around like big name actors people that you may really admire or you may really get starstruck if you get starstruck mm -mm background acting ain't for you because you're not supposed to be all up in people's faces and try to get autographs and excited that's not what you're there for like they'll ask you to leave politely so you want to make sure that you remain professional when you're on set you want to make sure you're listening you're paying attention to what's going on in the scene you're reacting you're not overreacting you don't want to be that guy that's just overreacting doing too much trying to be in the camera that's not what background acting is about it's about being subtle and just being natural like naturally in um, a restaurant talking to friends like it's not about what's going on with the main character you don't want to look at the camera you don't want to look at the actors you just want to be natural in the scene so that's important to remember um, a couple of things before I wrap this up because I feel like there's so much I can say about this um, I'm just trying to kind of give you a, a breakdown a run through you want to make sure Sure that when you come to set your hair and makeup ready camera ready um, your hair is done makeup is done don't overdo your makeup just kind of listen to what they tell you um, what you're what you're supposed to look like if you're a college student you know think natural and maybe jeans and a t-shirt you just kind of want to like try to um, be as close to what they're booking you for as possible when you show up and if you haven't if you're booked on a show make sure you watch that show like if you've never watched it before go on YouTube watch a couple scenes just to kind of get an idea of the feel of the show 
Um, don't bring valuables to set. That's really important because you're in holding and then uh, you go to set and you leave your stuff in holding. So you just want to make sure that you don't have too many valuables because you just never know what can happen. Um, don't sleep on set. That's really important because you are at work. Even though there's a lot of downtime and then it's kind of like casual, you don't want to um, be that guy that's caught sleeping. Um, let's see. Some calls are cattle calls where it's a big call and it's a lot of background. It could be like um, you're at a football game so it's a lot of fans at the game and then some are smaller calls um, it just really depends like I said when you do background working background acting like every day could be different you just never know um, you know what what the scene is gonna be or what the day is gonna look like so I just want to wrap this up because I don't want to talk forever on this video but um, I just want to say that from background acting like I feel like I've had so many amazing experiences I've really got to um, work on so many cool shows that I just feel like I probably wouldn't have had the opportunity to work on unless I was doing you know background acting it's just provides a opportunity to really see how um, set is run how to uh, watch like main actors in action like I've been on set with Viola Davis I've worked with how to, on how to get away with murder scandal blackish um, Grey's Anatomy uh, just a ton of shows like I, I mean just so many shows so many great experiences I've worked on really good productions and I've worked on some like low budget crappy productions so I've seen a lot and experienced a lot just from doing background work I really feel like um, background acting is like a paid internship to kind of really let you know what it's like to work on a TV show on a movie on a commercial it's really fun. I mean, there are people that I know that don't do it at all because, you know, like I said earlier, it's kind of a stigma. People kind of look down on it. Anyways, I'm really grateful and appreciative to all the things I've got to learn and experience while being on set. Um, if you guys have any questions or if there's anything that I didn't cover and you want to know more about, feel free to leave comments in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!